Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel or welcome to Arm Pitching Development. This channel is all about baseball pitching and I help you amplify your mechanics by growing your pitching knowledge as we cover uh, tips, drills, exercises, and workouts in these videos. So if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and uh, don't forget to hit the like button as well. Anyways, in this video, we're going to cover pitching drills for better accuracy for eight and nine year olds. Why is that important? You know, if you're watching this film, you've probably seen, oh, the eight or nine year old tag in there. So it, it sparked your interest. You probably have an eight or a nine year old young man that's learning how to pitch. So these drills are gonna be really specific to beginner learning, uh, to beginner learning for accuracy. If you're familiar with the channel or you know kind of the background of, of my philosophy behind mechanics is driven inside of three parts balance, direction, and timing. So if we can become very proficient with those three components to baseball pitching, uh, you're gonna be a pretty successful pitcher at the end of the day. If you're not familiar, you might wanna go into the channel a little bit deeper and scroll through some of the uh, mechanical videos, and that'll give you some backdrop or background on uh, my approach to pitching a baseball. Balance, direction, timing is kind of what we wanna think about here, and these drills that we're gonna cover are gonna help you or help your son or help your athlete. Okay, the first drill we're gonna do is building on balance. So when I talk about balance, I really mean two parts, one static and two dynamic. Dynamic balance would have to do with your body being in motion. And the second the static balance is more of a pause or a hold uh, in, in your strength of, of movement. So on the single leg throwing drill for eight or nine year old baseball pitchers, I would start with the left leg if you're a right-handed thrower or the opposite if you're a left-handed thrower. The glove side, I, I will say, try to get them to tuck it into their shoulder at the moment. And then you're just gonna come up and bring your arm up into a 90 degree angle from this point. Then you'll lift up off the ground here, keeping the, the leg behind you. And then from this point, what I wanna feel is the arm get out front, release the ball, and then kind of fall, fall into it and balance on your hip just a little bit better. So the drill will look something like this. Okay, so what we're working on is not just the balance piece, but also the directional component of where we want the pitch to go. So you'll see my chest stays behind my pitch as well as I can, and I'm squaring up with the target in balance, in dynamic balance, as I'm going through the throwing motion. This can also work on the other leg. So if, even if you're a right-handed thrower, you wanna build up balance on the right side as well, you can do the same drill here. Okay, so now we're working on both hips and not just focusing on one. Okay, the second drill we're gonna work on is a, another finishing drill. We talk about direction, when we talk about placement of the pitch, we wanna make sure that our directional components are lined up here. Um, I like about a 90 to 120 on the front leg, about a 120 would be better. And it's about a 120 on the back leg too. Again, you're going to lock up the glove just a little bit tighter here. We don't want it to be loose or sloppy. Uh, keep it up, keep your chin up where you want the ball to go, keep your eyes up, and then keep your chest um, upward as well in direction of the throw. Again, you'll come to your 90 degree angle and you're gonna let the arm go through, release the ball, and then the chest will kind of follow through and we'll extend the back hip uh, as well as we go along here. So example, throw, and then I follow through the pitch here just a little bit stronger. Uh, it'll help build up the muscles in your legs. For the younger guys, you're gonna see it probably be a little out of balance. If you're dealing with eight or nine year olds, they're gonna be a little wobbly here. That's okay, the important part is that you're building the foundation, you're, build, you're building the base of these younger guys. Okay, on our third pitching drill for eight or nine year olds, uh, beginner pitchers, we're gonna go back into this finish frame, but this time we're going to go a little bit more dynamic with it, a little more movement, the pitching of the ball, instead of being so still or static with uh, our positioning. So we're gonna go back to our split stance finish line here. Um, we're gonna put our hands together on this drill and then we're gonna work an arm action elevation up into, ro into rotation into the back hip. So as we rotate back, 
the foot position is going to stay in line. And elevate up through the elbows as you come up through your throw here. All right. So important thing, just side note, when you're breaking off of your pitch, you're going to break with your thumbs down here on top of the baseball and then elevate up through your elbow and then bring the ball up to, uh, to height, to your arm spiral. And then from there, load and then release the ball. So something just to work on a little bit here. This will help. So on this drill, back to our split stance, hands together, rotate back and up, get into position. Again, working on the finish line, the arms come first, then the chest is gonna follow through. So that is uh, another example of a finish accuracy drill uh, that'll keep you in line and keep, keep you balanced a little bit better working that into your routine. Okay, the last drill, drill number four on eight to nine year old uh, pitching drills for accuracy. What I see a lot of guys, the younger guys like that, when they come in, when they try to throw the pitch, you'll see the head yank, you'll see the glove side peel out. Everything kind of tilts off uh, over their left side or right side, depending on the hand. What we want to do is keep the head still while we're pitching and everything focused on a line with where we want the ball to go. So a drill I'll do is come back into this stance here and I'll have them put their glove into their ear and get their elbow where kind of pointed in line. And then from that point, we'll go back into our throwing drill, but it'll kind of help them stay focused in where they want the ball to go. Obviously, we're not gonna pitch that way, but it helps build them. It helps build the foundation of, in the alignment in, in terms of direction. So just by keeping a little bit more focus here, keeping the glove on the side of the head and then forcing them to kind of stay inside of the pitch a little bit better inside of their practice, uh, that will help kind of alleviate that leak out as they go along and as they grow up. So really working on building the foundation of these guys is gonna be imperative and these drills will help you do that. And thank you guys so much for checking out the video today. I really appreciate that. Hey, for uh, more pitching tips, drills, exercises, and workouts, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for me. And also, if you like the content we shoot here, go ahead and give this a thumbs up. And until I shoot the next video, I look forward to seeing you next time.